when when these tangents happen, I can speak for an hour forty five apparently about anything anything else that's not even related to anything on this list. But it kind of works out because this episode is going to be it's not going to be a, a timely episode, so it kind of makes sense to not focus heavily on uh, on topical things. But I guess this one. It's so untopical that we can talk about it. Um, <laughs> the WL Roots based XSC XWFM for Wayland Code Taking Shit. That is such a mess to say. Um, XSC is slowly getting to the point where it's possibly going to have a, a Wayland version. The other two major DEs, Gnome and KDE, they've had Wayland versions for a very long time. But the XFC side has been much smaller. XFC has always been a much smaller desktop anyway, because its its purpose is sort of being the desktop environment for the for the older hardware. Generally, generally, it's not like the it's not your first choice. Someone who loves XFC is probably gonna be like XFC is always my first choice. It's so great, and that's fine. If, if it's first choice, go and enjoy it. Uh, but for most other people, it's not. Um, they did have a earlier version called... Where is the name? Where is the name? Yeah, things like XF Way or something. XF Way. Okay, is this... Uh, is this actually a different article than I originally had? Did I find two articles in the same, like, day from Pharonix about two different things? XF Way. Give me a second. It is XF Way. Here we go. So this is their old thing they were making. It's not a part of XFC. It's just an experimental thing. This was going to be a Lib Western based uh, based compositor. This was made back before XF. Uh, um, sorry, before WL Roots had like taken uh, taken root as much as it had. So it sort of made sense to build it directly off of the off of the reference compositor. Um, but they're actually making a new version because that old version is basically dead. It didn't ever really go anywhere, hadn't really been fully developed. Um, but there is this... Yeah, this is a different article. What the fuck? They wrote two articles about the same thing within, like, a day or two. Pharonix covers literally everything. Um, this is why I love Pharonix. But they have a new version called XFWM4 Wayland, which is not a great name either. Uh, is this the old version? Oh, this is the one they talked about. Ah, this is the one that, this is the original article I saw. So the new one is called XFWM4 Wayland. Uh, it's got no description, website, topic. It's got no nothing about the about section. It's got bait. Oh, it's got to read me. Um, but this is the new version. So this is a Wayland... Uh, so this is the WL Roots uh, version of XFCE. There was discussion... I know there was this roadmap for XFCE on Wayland um, that hadn't really gone anywhere. It's still like... There is some changes happening here and there. It's mainly just about brainstorming ideas. But the question was mainly around whether to use Mutter or use WL Roots. It seems like they have agreed upon WL Roots. Now, this is the direction they're going to be uh, going going forward. And it makes sense because Mutter is what um, is Gnome's compositor. And Gnome being Gnome... It doesn't really make any sense to build something on their tools because Gnome only cares pretty much about what Gnome's doing. Like, they're not trying to build this this general compositor base. They're trying to build Gnome. And that, that's fair. Like, it makes sense. Like, that's, that's what you're trying to do. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I'm interested to see where this goes because there is going to come a point it may not be a point like you know anytime soon like in the next five maybe 
in the next five years, I would say. But there is going to come a point, maybe like 10 or so years from now, where Xorg is le like legitimately going to be on the way out. And some people don't like to hear that, but it's kind of the truth. Xorg does still have some value over on the BSD side, but even over there, there is efforts to port Wayland over and to get Wayland compositors working over there. And in some cases, I think on, I want to say, free open? Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to say free BSD, and I'm going to be wrong. Um, free BSD Wayland. Um, uh, maybe I'm... Okay, there is some effort on FreeBSD, but I know there was a working compositor on one of them. Maybe it was OpenBSD. Ah, uh, no, it was FreeBSD. Um, Hikari. The Hikari compositor. Because we're weebs, and we have to name things with Japanese names. Um, it's OpenBSD, where there's not really much going on there. But this is functional right now. You can go and use this on FreeBSD. I don't know if it's any good, but it is a thing that exists. It is a stacking whaling compositor. So it's a, uh, it is a floating, it is a floating window manager, which, eh, eh. Oh, no, it does, it does tiling. Okay, it does tile, but it calls itself stacking. Wouldn't that gen, maybe it's, it's primarily stacking, but has some tiling aspects. Mmm, that seems to be the thing they're going for. Um, but yeah, there's gonna come a time where we pretty much just move on from, uh, from, from Xorg. And I want, I, I want these things that have been around for a long time to keep living on. And moving over to Wayland is pretty much the only way that's gonna happen.